Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 5 and in this video we're going to cover weapons. Now it really doesn't matter what sort of playthrough you're doing, weapons are an integral part of this game and there are a lot of mods out there that will help you make the weapons look better, behave better and even add new weapons. Now the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to improve the textures on most of your weapons. As you can see in the video, I'm using some really nice textures, very high quality, uh, very detailed. And these textures are from the Weapon Retexture Project. This is a large mod that actually adds a lot of textures to a lot of weapons, especially the projectile weapons. And as you can see, it's, it's a massive improvement. This is third person and first person as well. So, we're going to do that first. Installation of this mod is pretty easy. Uh, it's fairly standard. It's a single file we're going to need. It's pretty large, but it shouldn't take too lo long to download. Uh, once this archive is downloaded, you open up your package manager and use the add foam mod option. It'll take a few seconds to create. And once it's created, you just activate the mod. Now this mod adds quite a lot of files, quite a lot of textures, but it doesn't actually add any ESPs or any ESM files. So when you look at your load order, nothing will have changed. If we go and look at load order, no, nothing to change whatsoever. And that's it. You now have far better looking weapons. Next up, we're gonna talk about weapon mods. Now, weapon mods are actually built into New Vegas where they weren't in Fallout 3. Uh, but there are some problems. So for example, unique weapons can't be modded. Some weapons get less mods than others, etc. Now there are a couple of mods that fix these issues. And one such mod is the Weapon Mods Expanded or WMX mod. This mod also gives mods for melee weapons and also allows you to craft some mods, which is uh, pretty cool. Now installing this mod takes a little bit more time than the other mod because there are a lot of files to download. The first file you're going to need is the main web mods expanded file. Uh, this is the one that does most of the work. So we're going to download that first. And because we're using the weapons retexture project, we also need to download a compatibility patch for that. So download that. And there are also patches for each DLC. So for each DLC you've got, you need to download that patch. And so if you've got Dead Money, get the Dead Money patch, Lonesome Road, get the Lonesome Road patch, etc. Just download them all. These are needed so that you get the weapon mods on all the new DLC weapons. And once you've downloaded all the files you need, it's time to turn them into foam mods. So start by turning the main file, the largest one, into a foam mod. This will take probably the longest of all of them as it is the largest file. Once it's made, simply activate it. And again, because it's pretty big, it may take a little time. And remember, click yes to all when prompted. Now for load order, I tend to put this mod fairly high up, close to the top, above Project Nevada. So I'm going to drag that file there now. Like so. Next, I'm going to start with the DLC patches. I'll start with Dead Money. I'll create a foam mod from this. I will then activate it. And for the load order, I'm going to place the file it installed just below the first file. There you go, right below Weapon Mods Expanded. Then do the same again for Honest Hearts. Activate it. Once it's activated, move it up in the load order. Now, 
you're going to do this for all the patches for all the DLC. Identical manner in each case. And when those are done, I'm going to do the weapons retexture project patch. I always do this last, if at all possible. This, once we activate it, this adds a few textures. So we're going to have to click yes to all when prompted. And this one, even though it's a texture replacer, does also have an ESP. So we should move that in the load order. Down to the bottom. There it is. And I'm going to move it up just below the others, just for consistency. As you can see, I've got a lot of files there now. Now, those of you using Project Nevada, um, that mod adds quite a lot of unique weapons, and we will need to download a patch for that. So go to the Project Nevada patch page and download the WMX support patch. Turn that into a faux mod using your package manager and activate it. Pretty standard procedure. And once it's finished activating, uh, remember to fix your load order. I like to place this file below all the other WMX files. And there you go. Now, if you're using Weapon Animation Replacer mod, um, you'll probably find the animations are messed up. So to fix this, what you first have to do is deactivate the Weapon Animation Replacer faux mod. You must deactivate it first. Once deactivated, then activate it again and select the animations you want. This is really important. Do not use the reactivate button. It won't work. And click yes to all and it will replace them all again. And that's it. Hopefully your animations should be back to how they were. So far, we've not actually improved the look of our energy weapons. So we're going to do that now using a mod called EVE. EVE actually started out as an FO3 mod and stood for Energy Visuals Enhanced. But now in New Vegas, it actually stands for Essential Visual Enhancement because they don't just improve your energy weapons, they improve the visuals on a lot of things, but especially on energy weapons. Uh, but they, they actually inc they improve critical kills, they they add better explosions, impacts, etc. I mean, they even add things like iron sights for your energy weapons, the ones that are missing, like laser rifle, and they're very cool, they're animated. But the main focus of, of this mod is to make the models and textures of your energy weapons look better, and for the effects, like the particle effects, the shots coming out of the weapon, to look a lot better. They do actually look incredible. When you see enemies dissolve into plasma goo or burn up in, in laser fire, it's pretty incredible with this mod. Now let's get started by downloading that file, the eve file, from that page. It is a single file at the moment and it's relatively large so it will take a few minutes to download. Now, because I'm using WMX, I'm also going to need to go to the WMX page and download the EVE compatibility patch from there, as you can see. There we go. And download that. I need both of those files. And because I'm using Project Nevada, I also need to go to the Project Nevada patches page and download uh, patch for that. They have a Project Nevada EVE support file, so I download that. Once we've got all the files, first step is to make a faux mod of the main EVE file. So we'll do that, take a few seconds to build the faux mod, and once it's finished, we will activate it. Now, as usual, it will prompt you to overwrite certain files. Click yes to all. These are, these are all files you're probably going to need. <laughs> Once that's done, create a faux mod for the uh, WMX EVE support. And activate that file. That won't take long. It's pretty small. And then do the same for the Project Nevada EVE patch.
Once that is activated, you're going to need to sort out your load order. Um, these files, I'm not totally sure there's any major load order requirements from them, but again, I generally pr like to put them above Nevada Skies. Nevada Skies needs to come fairly low in your load order. Now, with these mods, I definitely recommend making a merge patch if you don't have one. And if you do have one, delete the old one and make a new one. You will almost certainly find the merge patch will help with these mods. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have a tutorial video on this. I believe it was part five on FNV Edit. This will help make your game a lot more stable. And that's it for this video. Now, there are actually a lot more mods we could cover, a lot of mods that add um, loads of weapons, some really great weapons as well, but just for time constraints alone, I couldn't do them in one video. I am planning to do another video on weapons fairly soon, and I, in that video I'm going to cover some major weapon packs, as well as some smaller single weapon mods, and show you how to install those. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.